Okay, this is Cobalt Core. Um, it is a roguelike deck builder space combat game um, with a beautiful, cute art style um, from the folks who did Sunshine Heavy Industries, which I actually didn't play and I'm definitely going to go back to now because I love Cobalt Core. Uh, full disclosure, I am friends with the developers, um, but uh, I would be recommending this regardless because it's, I mean, it's so far up my alley. It's FDL meets Slay the Spire plus its own unique twist. Um, which is like just catnip to me. So you pick three pilots and then a ship. Um, your deck will be made out of mainly the three pilots cards. Um, your ship can contribute some to it, um, but it's not a big deal. And this guy, I'm probably not going to take Cat. That's a that's the last character unlock. Um, so I'll give a bit of a spoiler um, in terms of what they do. Um, and also, I'm not very good with them. <laughs> um, I think a good, basically, I would say that the Perry, uh, Drake, yeah, Perry and Drake are like the two straightforward fighty guys who, who are going to do a lot of uh, damage. Um, Dizzy is a shield guy, uh, Riggs is like an evasion guy. I'm saying guy for everyone, they're, they're different genders, but uh, it's just for simplicity because I can't always remember which is which. Um, Max, I am absolutely suck with. Cannot do shit with Max. <laughs> I arguably I should play with him because uh, I don't know if if he has been uh, tweaked since I last played with him. But it's very difficult to to get things done with. I find uh, I will play with Books. Books is probably the most interesting character who who is still straightforwardly effective and is quite good damage wise. Can I rely on Books for damage? That might be an interesting experiment. And I think I'll take Riggs because Riggs is about dodge, and I think I feel like Riggs especially sells the uh, one of the core fantasies of this game. Um, the Jupiter is probably my favourite ship. I don't know if I'll take it this time. Um, the Artemis is a straightforward one. Um, the Ares... Now, there's there's one that you manually toggle the cannons. That's the Ares. Then there's the Gemini, where they automatically change. I seem to recall the one where you manually toggle them is really powerful, and the one where they automatically change. This is a bit of a head fuck to play with, to be honest, because every time you play a card... Um, they switch, and so you, it's very common to be making a plan to do something a couple of plays ahead, and then realize, oh no shit, I've got the cadence off by one, and now I can't do it. Um, maybe, yeah, let's do Ares. Um, so I picked a fairly... Hmm, how brave am I being with my pilot choices here? Because if I'm not doing straightforwardly powerful build, then I shouldn't do hard mode. Uh, normal is kind of easy mode, really. Um, it's, it's certainly a lot easier than Slay the Spire on, on normal. Um, I think I, since I just want to show the game, I'll, I'll stick to normal because it's. I find with these games, it's not, it's not unfun to be overpowered. <laughs> like I really like a stomp because um, if you get to make, if you get to make a good deck, that's like the main pleasure of these games to me. Okay, um, warp prep is a very nice starting artifact. Probably what I get will be better, but um, two random upgrades. Type B. We could go through and like. Um, uh, figure out... Actually, I need to remember what the controls are. How do you look at preview upgrades? Oh, X. Okay, so each one has had different upgrades. Um, I don't think there's, like... I don't know how much of an overall theme there is. I mean, here, A makes it cheaper, B makes it more powerful. Um, here, not really equivalent at all. Uh, Yeah, B's not bad in general, though. Uh, I think two going to type B is pretty good. Um, or one common artifact. Mm. Let's do the upgrade. Okay, draw shot. Fantastic. Two damage and draw two cards. Um, block shot B. That's one damage and three temporary shield. So temporary shield is like block and slate the spire where it goes away at the end of your turn. But normal shield actually sticks around. You just have an upper limit on how much you can have. Uh, this ship has, it has quite high max shield, um, which is nice. So right now, if I fire, if I play a attacking card, it's going to come out where that blue beam is on the right, which is going to miss. Um, but if I have some dodge, and I, you start with one dodge, uh, you can move left and right. and So I can move left, and then I'd, I'd be able to shoot him. But as you can see, he's going to hit me right now. Uh, I might be better off, since I can toggle which cannon is active. I'm going to move right, then play this to activate my other cannon, and now I can shoot him where I want to. Um, I, I'm almost certainly going to play draw shot. Uh, the Crystal Shard card, I definitely want to play that this turn. The Crystal Shard will be... Once that's in your... 
in your deck uh, for the duration of this combat. It's you know free to play. It draws a card, so it doesn't take any space in your hand, really. And then it also gets you a shard, and shards are spent to do cool things. Um, I'm going to do both. It probably doesn't ma super matter which order I do them in. For some reason, I want to do the crystal one first. I'm not sure why that is. <laughs> Just a kind of instinct. Um, and then we'll shoot there for sure. And now I can actually spend the shard I got uh, to play Mage Hand, which is going to get me some block and do two damage. That seems really strong. If I had the energy to get the dodge, I might do that because that's just a really good thing to bank. Dodge is, you know, each point of dodge lets you move left or right once and you can stockpile as much as you like. And there's also no limit to how far left or right you can move. So the whole fight can like drift wildly out of space. Um, and actually for this build, that wouldn't super matter. It would just, you know, everything's relative in this case. But if you play a drone build where you're throwing out drones, the drones stay where they are. So drifting away from where you put your drones is bad. Okay, so that went pretty well, uh, but now I've got kind of a shit hand. I'll get the dodge for sure. Maybe I'll just get shield and shoot. The cannon that's not active is armored, so that's a, another cool thing where you can use this toggling for defensive reasons too. Definitely going to get shield. Sorry, shard. Um, this looks okay to just fire as is. I could dodge, but actually... This thing creates three temporary shield. It's only going to do three damage, so that just, you know, that's a wash. Um, and there's no cost to doing that, really. And that just seems pretty straightforwardly good. Getting the scramble would have been nice, but I've got I've got one dodge. Generally, if you have no dodge, then you want to get dodge at all costs. I also, taking that damage and spending that temporary shield is kind of healthy for me because um, I keep forgetting that temporary shield is temporary and thinking that losing temporary shield is bad. You know, if, you, like, if I got five temporary shield, I'm going to take three damage. You're like, oh, how do I avoid that three damage? But actually, that's not the right way to think. Like, that's fine. That's what temporary shield does. It has no other utility other than absorbing damage, so just do it. Can't play Mage Hand now because... Um, or I can, actually, but uh, I don't have any shard. So the, the symbols on that card mean that you get one shield no matter what. If you have a shard, you spend it to do two damage. I don't have a shard, so... Um, it's not useless, but... Uh, it feels a bit of a waste. So I'll... I guess I'll do a draw shot first, because it might draw something that will change my mind. Uh, it didn't. Um, we're really close to closing this out, actually, so I'll just do two damage, because the chances that I'll be able to do one damage next turn are pretty high, so it won't matter that about having more dodge on hand. Yeah, it's easy. Uh, nope, I didn't pay attention to the fact that he had some shield. <laughs> they, they do signal their intent. I, I don't really read it. I just look at what, what the situation is when the turn starts. Um... So having some dodge now is real nice, because I, I don't like that 4 damage. I, I would actually only lose shield, but shield is still... Uh, I think by default you do lose your shield at the end of combat, so uh, you go back to zero. There's an upgrade that, that lets you keep it. Uh, I'm Just getting some scramble, getting some dodge is, is nice in general. If I can't finish the fight now, then... Uh, oh, and that's going to do it right there. That's 2 damage. Spending a shard. Blows him up. I like books... Um, because um, they, some of the cards are super powerful, and they they're just really synergy happy. Like there's there's so many ways to build synergies with with books, especially with some of their artifacts. Um, they some of their artifacts like you can start with maximum shard, and then there's another artifact that increases your maximum shard, so you can just start with like four or five shard, and that's crazy. And then there's other cards that like do two damage per point of shard you have. And so that now you've got the ability to do like 10 damage right off the bat. I love stuff like that. Uh, that one's interesting. That it, it would heal my hull. So it's like, that's your, your main health, your persistent health. Um, and it trashes itself forever. Uh, but, but in doing so, it gives you a non-temporary crystal shard. So that would be my deck forever, which is also good. I actually really like that. This whiplash would move me to the left to fire, then move me to the right one, which is just kind of hard to visualize, <laughs> so I tend to stay away from those cards. This one I've seen a few times. I've, I don't think I've ever taken it. I don't really... It doesn't seem exciting to me. Let me see if I can press... Look, first I'll press X on this one, because if X turns out to buy the card, then <laughs> I won't be in trouble, because um, I want it anyway. Um, yeah, I, I wouldn't bother to upgrade this one at all. Um, but since I, that is the upgrade button, I can check what Mining Drill upgrades do. Mining Drill A looks alright there. The, oh, sorry, I didn't explain this flipping thing. Um, yeah, dual card. This card has two separate sets of actions. In combat, press B to switch between them. So you can do two different things with it. 
Um, yeah, by default, zero damage. The reason, you know, why would you bother having zero damage? It's because some things buff all your damage, so doing zero damage could end up being two damage or one damage. Um, but it's a little bit niche at this point. Yeah, I don't really see the point of this. I'm definitely going to get perfect specimen. So, the map is very um, Slay the Spire-ish. Uh, I had been calling this layout the FTL uh, kind of roguelike map, and I said that to uh, Matthew, one of the developers of the FTL. <laughs> he pointed out that is not how FTL works. In FTL, you don't know what the nodes are. Uh, it's an exploration. It's all uncertain. And this this completely mapped out thing where you can pre-plan your route is is something that came along later. I don't know if Slay the Spire was the first, but it's certainly like the one that's best known for doing this. Uh, these green repair yard that icons, I absolutely want to go to every one of those I can. Uh, those seem almost non-optional to me. <laughs> I can't imagine there being an advantage to not going to them, because uh, you can either upgrade or remove, um, both of which are a huge deal. So yeah, I'll go this way. Uh, I feel like just three good hits here makes sense. Don't think there's any reason to toggle my cannon. That toggle cannon thing is always in my hand. I don't need to worry about using it up or anything. Okay, I've got draw shot. I like that. I would need to switch sides to do it, which I'm happy to do. But I want to think about this missile. This missile is going to hit at the end of my turn um, for two damage. Three damage is a big one. Um, if I can line my cannon up with it and fire, I'll destroy it that way. Um, to be honest, there isn't that great of a result because you kind of waste a shot doing it. Um, moving out the way is nicer. So maybe I'm going to do that. This gets me... Because I have to use a, a dodge anyway to get a shot on it. Um, so I might as well just use two dodge and not be hit by it at all. I would still be in the line of fire for this thing that's going to hit me though. Um, but if I... I could shoot then switch my cannon. And that way I wouldn't take the one damage because of the the non-active cannon is armoured. So this seems like I should do this. It's kind of a shame to draw cards at the end of your turn because, you know, when you don't have any energy. And then I'll switch my cannon so I've got a bit of armour. That little blue icon is the armour. And so that should be a perfect result. Yeah. So now he's going to do one damage twice. Uh, since that's going to hit armour, right now that's not going to be a problem, but of course the missile is a problem. Uh, I'm glad that I've still got dodge in my hand, because I hate to use my last dodge. This might be a case where I dodge one, switch cannon, then shoot the thing out of the sky. I don't actually have an attack in my hand right now, which is a little bit worrying. Um, I could dodge twice, but since this this thing creates a crystal shard, a crystal shard draws a card, um, I may get an attack. I didn't, so it's going to have to be two dodges. This is actually a, not my favourite because now I'm out of dodges. And if I don't draw one and I get another missile heading at me, it's going to be a little bit hairy. So I could do the... I mean, heal to... Yeah, it's, a, it's an interesting card to decide when to play this because um, uh, I don't need the healing. The healing will be wasted right now. But on the other hand, the sooner you do it, the sooner you have a non-temporary crystal shard in your hand, which is just in your deck, which is great. Um, tempted to do it now, but actually there, there is an argument for doing this one because since I may be caught without dodge, building up my shield is good. The temporary shield will be wasted, but the blue shield stays. Okay. We're, we're going to do five damage to kill. I think we can do five damage, right? These three, I can play them all. Get in the habit of always doing draw shot first. Then mage hand. And then block shot. Sweet. And I did draw the dodge in the end, to, if I really needed it. So boost capacitors is nice. That gives you one max shield uh, for the rest of the fight. I don't normally go very shield heavy, but um, if you upgrade it, plus two capacity is very nice. Refresh interval. So that's two temporary shield, gain one energy next turn. I never really get excited about these cards. Like, because it just moves the energy to next turn. Great. Sometimes I, I would want to do that, but it takes up a card. You know, I only draw five cards per turn. I can't be... Wasting them on stuff that, that, you know, really this this is useful if you drew a bad hand. But it also increases the likelihood you draw a bad hand because it is kind of bad <laughs> in itself. You know, if you didn't draw a bad hand, it's bad. Um, and if you did draw one, it, it might be the reason you drew a bad hand. Uh, I think boost capacitors. I like that one. And here, 
It's actually, it, you know, Slay the Spire never really asks you to decide between upgrading and, and removing. It's a pretty interesting decision, because I generally, in Slay the Spire, upgrading is... Um, I kind of wish this button just went straight into showing my deck, because I don't like pressing A just because if the cursor isn't where I think it is, I'm going to do something I don't mean to do. Um, so, uh, we know that upgrading boost capacitors would be very nice, but it is just a defensive thing, and I, I'd rather go for offense first. What is mage hand upgrades? Oh, that's really interesting. So that flips around which thing you need shard for. Uh, so now the shield is the thing you need shard for. That's actually pretty... That's actually great. Because now it's just a two damage attack. Like, forget about the shield thing. The shield thing's nice if you can get it, but now when I don't have any shard, I still want to play this. Right now, when I don't have any shard, I don't really want to play this. One shield is not great. I've never taken that upgrade. I think I've, I've taken this one before, because I'm very damage hungry. <laughs> but I actually think this might even work out to be more damage and more defense. Uh, so yeah, the, the interesting decision between remove and, and upgrade is that if you upgrade, in a sense, you've removed a bad card and added a good card, right? Um, which arguably is one more good thing than removing a card. That said, like, this card is real, real ropey. Uh, the upgraded versions, neither of them are great. Um, the upgraded version of that is great. Um, if you upgrade that, I would say that is as good as removing it. You know, better than removing it, because uh, you just get a free benefit and it exhausts. So it's just once per combat. But that's a great card then. Like, zero cost and two dodge. Um, I think I, so I will upgrade, I'm wondering if there's an argument to, like, remove early and upgrade late. Maybe the compromise actually is to upgrade that dodge one, because, uh, what is the upgrade to scramble? Oh yeah, no, it's still high cost either way. I'm kind of allergic to high cost cards, I like to, like, cheap and dirty. So yeah, this is... I feel like this both got me a bigger benefit and it sort of removes the card as well because once you've, once you've got the great benefit, it's out of your deck for the rest of the combat. This is going to be an elite. Oh yeah, this one has weak spots. So actually, I don't need to move to line up with that at all. I can just switch my cannon uh, and then I'll hit it. So the weak spots, the glass icon means it'll do one extra damage. There's a skull icon that means you'll do double damage, um, but we don't have that on this one. Uh, so yeah, crystal shard. Kind of wish I upgraded no mage hand now because I wouldn't need the crystal shard to do it. <laughs> but it's good. Like this thing is is dead weight in your deck till you play it. Whereas crystal shard is doesn't take up space because it draws a card and is free. I think I want to do. Let's do this first. This guy's got huge shields. Um, now it's trickier. I think I want to draw a Crystal Shard. The boost capacitors, this is kind of the time for it. But it also feels like betting this fight is going to go long. Um, and I, I can't remember what this guy does, but it's probably nasty. What does it say about his planning? It's going to raise temporary shields. Okay, so that suggests this is the turn to do damage, and next turn is the turn to survive. Um... But, I mean, either whichever turn you want to survive on, boost capacitors is good. Uh, I want to do Crystal Shard. It just it bothers me not to have that in my hand yet. And then if I play this, I can still get one shard and do two damage. Yeah, that's the right play. Because until I hit my, my shield capacity, increasing my shield capacity isn't useful. <laughs> it's kind of self-evident, but it's always good to play things at the right time. I'm... Uh, I'm playing a bit of Dune Imperium at the moment. Um, the digital version of that is in early access now. And my god, is that the game of like... It's so well balanced that everything is just about when you do it. Like, it's going to be a good idea at some point, And it's just about when should you do that thing. Okay, basic dodge is paid off. Uh, always nice. Is it arguably a bit redundant with Scramble? Because now I'm never going to play Scramble because I'll have a good reserve of, of this. Oh, this guy's got a nasty thing. This is... Whenever the ship is hit, immediately shoots a 2 damage attack back. So, I shouldn't attack him unless I can take the damage back. I'm inclined, since he's also got temporary shield, it's just a bad time to attack him. I think I just don't attack him. And maybe I actually play Scramble. I've got nothing else to do, really. Uh, and some block. And then... You know what? If I play Shield Surge, I think I just take the damage. I've got 5 dodge, maybe that's a bit silly. 
If I go left one, now I, I take zero damage because one of it will be blocked by temporary shield and the other one's blocked by armor. I generally my my sort of sense of the balance of this game is that spending one dodge to to avoid one damage is um, a bad trade. You want to get more value than that from one dodge. Obviously, one shield does block one damage. Um, yeah, this is fine. Still got loads of dodge left. Um, so now boost capacitors is starting to sound better because I'm going to have a lot of times when I want to shoot him, but I need to be able to tank damage back. And I can't do anything spectacular with guns this turn. Since I have so much dodge, maybe it's worth... Hmm, I'm talking myself out of this, actually, because if, if I dodge right and then I play both of these, both of them get a bonus damage. So I end up doing four damage this turn. I think that's too good. I think I've got to do that. And I can still gain a shield, so that's nice. I am, I'm reaching my capacity, though. Oof! So, I fired automatically then, because I drew this card. Safety override. Um, I think I have to hide the things to read it. On draw, immediately attack for one damage. So he made me attack him, and then punish me for doing it. And he had temporary shield, so I didn't even do any actual damage. I do have a good damage card this turn. Um, but equally, I mean, this is actually a nice time to play this, because although the heal is still wasted, the card playing the energy isn't really wasted, because I don't want, really want to do anything this turn. So I'm just going to do that, and then I can still play... Um, I can still play that. I suppose there's no reason not to play it. And then Scramble. I kind of wish Scramble exhausted, because I don't... I don't know. It is good to have ongoing source of, of dodge. But obviously I'm dodge rich at the moment. <laughs> I'm probably playing this pretty well, you know, given the circumstances, because um, losing a bit of shield is okay, um, since I haven't increased my capacity. So, this is a no-brainer. Oh. Wasn't a total no-brainer. Um, wait, no, that was fine. That was fine, because he's not... This is not the turn where he's giving revenge. So I just got to attack him for free there. He just made me attack him for free. <laughs> uh, we're aligned with a weak spot, so... Mage Hand seems great. Lock Shot seems great. And Shield Surge, why not? God damn it. <laughs> okay, it's fine. I had enough to tank it. And in fact, I've got enough to tank the next one too, so I can just blow him up. Okay, Fleetfoot. Uh, move on further. That, uh, yeah, I've never taken this and I, I don't plan to start. <laughs> it's because sometimes you want to move one. I want to move one to like align carefully. And it's only this turn as well. If it was forever, then I'd think about it because the raw increase in mobility is might outweigh the lack of accuracy. But since it's only this turn, I've got to spend an energy just to have that. Selected memory. Choose a card in your draw pile. Put it in your hand. Oh, so that's like seek. That's good. How does it upgrade? Two cards in draw pile. Or could be from a discard as well. That's very good. Yeah, I'll take that. It's sort of free in your hand, you know, whatever you wish you drew instead, you get that. First attack at each turn pierces, so that goes through shields and armor. That's very nice. One energy every third turn. That's nice. It's kind of boring. Um, Grimoire. Interesting. So with that, I've already got a permanent crystal shard. I've got a one I can produce during combat. And with this just being... I actually gained it in my hand, I believe. Um, so I have guaranteed crystal shard income right away. I can start really leaning into that. I really like it. The only hesitation I have is that there's another relic that gives, that lets you start with maximum shard, and at that point this is it's a waste. It's not actually bad, because it still draws a card and it costs nothing. Um, so, yeah. I think I take it. Piercer is really good because sometimes your first attack can just be, you know, if it's like a thing that does two damage three times <laughs> and it's going to penetrate. Oh, you know what? I actually think I'm wrong about that. I think when it says first attack, that doesn't mean all of the effects of your first attack card. I think it literally means your first shot. And therefore, if you do like a triple shot, only the first one penetrates. Um, I think that's right. Doesn't matter which way I go here. Lovely basic dodge. I think I really like this upgrade partly because it's a non-decision <laughs> like in a game with a ton of decisions it's really nice to have something like you just see it you play it <laughs> and same with these crystal shards you see them you play them 
Uh, and then I can also get Selective Memory. What do I want right now? He's going to hit me pretty hard. So maybe I actually want the dodge one. I've got enough dodge anyway. But since I'm going to spend that dodge, it's nice to build up some dodge to, you know, pay it back. I will do Mage Hand for sure. Well, let's actually select first. But yes, I'm thinking dodge. The shield capacity is nice too, but I feel like with enough dodge, I won't need it for a while. So fire first, um, get scramble, and then dodge twice. Oh, this is a nice time to play this, actually. I will play draw shot first, because I definitely want to do that. I'd love some stun right now, because these are going to put some cards in my hand, and I can't do anything about it. The only way to do something about that would be to stun him. So I do like to play Crystal Shard when I can, but this time I think Boost Capacitors is better. I want to really save up for the future here. I think this is going to be a nasty one. Bunch of trash. Oh, I only just clocked that this doesn't exhaust. So I just keep on doing this? That's kind of wild. So as long as my rate of gaining shield is, is as fast as him attacking me, uh, I could survive forever. So Scramble might be better here though, because if I... Hmm, I'd have to move, let's see, three times to fully dodge this. If I move two times, I can make it sure that his two damage hit is going to hit my armored piece and only one damage. But I still would rather... I'd like... What if I play the scramble and the tr and trash the trash? And then move like this. So I'm going to lose a shield here. But I'd like to keep my dodge nice and high for anything nasty that might come along. Actually, given that he's trashing my, my stuff, I need to focus on damage, don't I? So here I'll switch cannons. Draw shot. Mage Hand. Uh, I could do another damage or I could get the Crystal Shard. I think since currently my Mage Hand does require Shard to do damage, this is a good investment. I mean, yeah, right. Oh, and that was good. Ah, yeah. That was good because it also drew some trash that now... It didn't matter that I drew the trash because I've got no energy anyway. But I'm going to get a lot more trash. I really need to focus on speed here. <laughs> I think that... The shield capacity is probably a mistake. Maybe it's not a good card. I, it seems like it's happening a lot that I say, um, oh, that that's not useful to me here. I spent a lot of time not playing it. Then when I did play it, I regretted it. Uh, so obviously I'm going to dodge. I think I'll do the same thing again where I dodge one and block the other. Shield surge is nice here. Because then I could conserve all of my shield and also gain one. But I, I'm not in survival mode really. I'm in kill mode. Oh, why do I have three? Did I just completely blank on what I played? <laughs> um. Oh, block shot. Okay, sorry. I was so focused on the damage that did, I just didn't even spot that it gives me protection. So now, if I switch my cannon after firing, I'll only take three damage, because one of them will be defended. So that's great. So my cannon's armoured. It's going to do four total. I'll lose one. Uh, I'll, I'll block one with armor and the other three with temporary shield. Beautiful. Just using these for card draw now. This does suck. <laughs> I've got no good thing to do. I suppose. Yeah, I've got four cards in my draw pile. This trash could come back. I don't think I play boost capacitors. Because if I play the trash, I can still play this. So I still gain shield. And shield capacity isn't my problem right now. I can... I, I suppose it's like one way to think of it is like, can you get use out of your shields? If your shield capacity is so low that you, you know, you, you can't spend the shield gain cards when you want to, because it would be a waste, uh, and therefore you can't get use out of your shields by taking damage, then that's when you need to increase capacity. But if that's not happening and it isn't, then this is better, I think. Okay, so this doesn't draw anything, but I'm glad I can play it. Um, gonna do this, and then I definitely want to dodge at least one. I should dodge two, shouldn't I? Uh, yeah. So if I dodge one, I protect from one damage. 
if I dodge twice, I protect from three damage, I think. Might be overly cautious with the shields. I could probably afford to take more damage in general. Um, let me see if I can get three damage. I can't. That sucks. But I think this is in the bag now. The trash are annoying, but they're not that bad. There are there are much worse uh, folks who put cards in your deck. Ones that like drain your energy when you draw them and stuff like that. Mitosis is interesting. At the start of your turn, lose one shield and gain twice as much temporary shield. So, sort of, if you can keep gaining regular shield, it's doubly efficient. I actually like that card quite a lot. Still don't get mining drill. Charge beam. Attack with zero. Each time this card is drawn, this fight add two. I think these cards are often a bit of a a uh, loss leader. Like, no, that's a positive thing. Um, they're a bit of a trap. Like, it sounds cool. Oh, in, in theory, I can have infinite power. But you got to draw it and not play it, which is like a curse. Um, and then even when you do, when it doesn't get up to power, you can't keep playing it. It's just one time. I can have mitosis. Uh, what were the upgrades to this? I can have two mitosis. That's fascinating. And that's kind of interesting because it gives you like a little starter pack. <laughs> if you don't have any shield, it, it still works. If that could be in my hand every at the start of every fight, that would be great. Every three DZ cards play one shield. Hey, that fits perfectly with what I just took. And so now it's a case of do I upgrade Mage Hand? I've actually, you know what? Not doing that earlier was smart because I don't want to do it now. I don't want to upgrade Mage Hand. The, the reason to do it was to um, get this free damage. It doesn't cost a shard. But now I've got so many ways of getting shards. I'm always tempted by that one, but that's only... No, that's not a great, a great shout. This one... I could do two damage instead of one. Decent. Um, mitosis. I don't think either of those upgrades are particularly impactful. Oh, this is nice. This is perfect, actually. Because I've just got a thing that make, turns normal shield into temp shield. So this guy giving me temp shield is not useful. Hang on. Oh, it's already upgraded. Oh, so that's that's illusory. Damn, that's annoying. Uh, what about this one? Can I make this one better? No. These temp shield cards are not great for me anymore. I mean, they're fine, but... Oh, can I upgrade this? No. <laughs> that would be interesting. I could potentially upgrade this. So what's that? Buoyant. Oh, it's always drawn first. Hmm. It's not, it's not a clean win that that will always be something I want in my starting hand. Especially since like, I start with one anyway, so that's actually not good. Yeah, no, neither of those are good. Draw shot's already upgraded. Um, shield surge, nothing too exciting there. I really want more damage. Um, so mage hand is the only thing that... Oh wait, wasn't there? I mean, you can upgrade those, but that feels like a bad idea. Maybe I should remove. I'm just not seeing any upgrades that really excite me here. This one doing two is... Probably the best... Oh god, it's already upgraded. D damn it, I'm so bad at noticing that. I kind of wish it would show it on this screen. I maybe it does. I think there's an outline there that's telling me that, but it's not not clear enough to me. Um, I'm just going to remove. Uh, I think I should get rid of probably basic block. Even though regular shield just got slightly more useful to me, I'm still never going to play it. And I don't want to remove any damage, even the, the boring damage. Obviously, I'd rather have better damage, but I think we can go to this guy... So this is an elite. It'll get me a, an artifact. And we're going to have a repair yard right after before the boss. So if I really did fuck it up. I've uh, played this game quite a lot. I uh, had a beta before release. And I feel like there has been very little chatter uh, this game. Usually there's conversations before these uh, encounters. And I haven't seen a lot of them. I wonder if after you've like completed the game, they you know, tone them down. Or maybe I've just seen each of them enough times that they they stop showing. Should do Crystal Shard first, because I could draw something interesting. Okay. 
So this guy does have the, the super weakness, which is great. So I just want to pile on damage as much and as fast as possible. Uh, I think Mage Hand is what we need here. Oh, I mm, probably should have gone for Mitosis. Maybe I'll draw Mitosis? So I'll put myself in danger here. It's actually pretty tricky. So Mage Hand is the best card because I'm down to take two damage. I am inclined to allow that. I'm not still not taking any hull damage. Um, and I really want this angle. And maybe I draw something with this. Ooh, block shot is absolutely perfect. So it might not synergize with mitosis, but it was the perfect shot to, thing to draw the, right there, because I'm that's gonna block all the damage I'm taking. Ah, now I got mitosis. Can I afford to play it? I'm going to take 3 2 damage right now. Um, I'll do this anyway, so I'm definitely going to move right at some point. I think there's no reason not to do it right away because I need to fire from here. It's only one bonus damage, but hmm, maybe that actually wasn't as much of a slam dunk as I might have thought, but I think both of these are easy yeses. Um, I'm not going to use my last dodge to try and mitigate one of these damages. I'll just take it on the nose. I'm only going to take one anyway. Like, I'm only going to lose one shield. Okay, this is going fine. Um, if I switch now, I'm already in line with, for Mage Hand to hit the weak spot. Beautiful. I can do two more damage with this. I can't draw any more cards. He's going to do three damage to me. If I did move left... And then uh, switch my cannon. Oh, I can't. I already switched my cannon. It would be it would be very satisfying because I block all three damage with armor since it's only doing one damage three times. So I could, if I shoot, I'm just going to take those three damage. That's actually fine. That's actually fine because I'm I'll lose one shield, um, which is very usable. Oh, I've got enough to play this too. Perfect. Yeah, this is one of the most powerful ships. I think this and the Jupiter are probably are the two most powerful ships. Um, and uh, this deck, I, I thought this deck might be a potentially weak one because I didn't take like a straight damage character, but I think books, books and rigs together have enough damage between them that you don't need a dedicated damage character. So this is working out to be pretty easy so far. Easier than I expected. I probably should have played on hard. So the the shard aspect of this one does not seem that great to me because I've got so many shards anyway. Shield's nice, but I've actually got a ton of shield stuff. This one I remember being quite good. What is it? Let me read it, the basic version. So it's going to move me right. Then if I have a shard, I get one dodge. And if I have another shard, I get another dodge. Uh, and then the nice thing about it, yeah, it is a good card because it can be flipped. Um, so, yeah, flipping it flips the direction of actions. That's interesting. So in the early days, flip was how you got the other function of a card. Um, you know, I showed you those ones that had like an upper part and a lower part. Those used to be flip cards. And so I, what I hadn't realized is they kept the flip idea as well. Um, I wonder if people were getting confused about some cards that, you know, the, the other side wasn't just the same as the front side, but with the directions flipped. Let me just actually check. I haven't read this one. Attack for three damage. Must have played four cards this turn. Ah, what are the upgrades for this? So I'm considering this because I do have a lot of those crystal shards, which, which those are, I think that's why this is a books card, is that if you have a lot of crystal shards, the chances that you've played three, four cards already, that's, that's a lot. Um, I could go down to three cards, that's kind of nice. It's not enough of a slam dunk, I think, like... For a big damage card, I really want it to hit multiple times, because then if you hit a weak spot, you get bonuses for that. If you have any overdrive, you get bonuses for that. I think Zircon Zip is great. More dodge. I've already quite dodge heavy, but, uh, you know, you rarely find yourself having too much dodge. <laughs> Gain plus one max heart and heal one after every time. If we're playing on a harder difficulty mode, I'd probably be going for that. Whenever you have no cards, draw a card. That's not great for me, because although I have these cheap cards, they all draw cards too, so they don't, they don't actually lead to me running out of stuff. Two extra cards on the first turn, that's great. Let's do that. Especially because I'd like to get Mitosis going early. 
So if I was going to remove, probably a basic shot at this point. I was surprised that this um, uh, block shot really saved my ass uh, recently. What were the upgrades for this one? Oh, so this one, the first dodge is free. Ooh, that's very nice, actually. But I've gone pretty dodge heavy in general. Upgrading Mage Hand is another consideration, as always. Yeah, I wish I had a, a move I could make here to just boost my damage. I don't. I'm thinking about removing this. Because i got so many other ways to boost dodge now. This is a starter card. I didn't pay anything for it. And the fact that it costs two is just pretty hefty. Is it crazy to remove that instead of a basic shot? I just don't like losing damage because we're, we're just quite low on damage in general. I could lose Shield Surge since it's not a huge deal. Scramble is certainly always better, but Scramble is more expensive. Um... tricky. I mean, right now, Unpolished Crystal isn't doing much for me, because I already have two of those for free, and spending an energy to get a third one is kind of crazy. But, I feel like as I build this deck, I'm gonna... Oh, actually, Zircon Zip already... Yeah, Zircon Zip is already like a, a dodge factory with in combination with that, so yeah. I'm gonna remove Scramble. Okay. Must have been very clean so far. So this is the boss of, of Act 1. There's three acts. Um, mitosis might be a good draw. Very easy to avoid damage this first turn. Uh, I guess it makes sense to use all of the free card draw you get. This isn't free, but it's. I'm going to do it at some point anyway, so I might as well do it now. Uh, I'll definitely take this. So now... Selective Memory. I'm going to play Mage Hand, I think, and Draw Shop. Mm. Yeah. I wonder if there's an argument for keeping selective memory kind of in your back pocket. So that because there'll be turns where it's more important to draw the right card. No, I do want to get my Tosis going. And it will suck to try and do that while I'm under heavier fire than this. So we do this, and then Mage Hand's probably the best card here because um it gains me a shield, and I'm about to start losing shield every turn. And then if I just toggle which cannon is active, I get defense that stops that. So that's really nice first turn. And I've got shield, so if Zircon Zip comes up, which it does. So what I love about Zircon Zip is... Um, is it B to flip it? Yeah. I can choose the direction of the force movement. So it essentially is a dodge. I just get a free dodge this turn. Well, not a free dodge, but I get a dodge this turn. Then my shards also convert to dodges. Um, I'm going to have two of those. Just seems real good. And now I can even choose. Like, if I play this now, I can't choose... Uh, all the shards will be converted into dodges, which is no b bad thing. If I want to use the damage, I can play this first to make sure that happens. I think damage is good. I'm not sure on on uh, stuff. <laughs> you know, the stuff. Uh, I don't even need to move at all. Um, but since Zircon Zip gets me dodge, I might as well use it. Yeah, there's, there's no damage upside to moving, but gaining the dodge is nice. And then I suppose, doesn't matter which one of these I play. Shield Capacitors is not paying off for me, I just don't need it. Like, in theory, it's good with Mitosis. But I feel like I just, Mage Hand is gaining me a lot of shield all the time. Uh, crystal shards are great. I love how, like, I mean that all that did was draw me one card, uh, and it wasn't a good card. But I felt like I got to play three cards. Maybe the maybe shield capacitors or boost capacitors is going to happen because well, let's do draw shot first. I've got enough temp shield that I don't even need to dodge this attack. Uh, even more shot. Oh my god, this is ridiculous. That one that's if I see that card that's like if you play four cards you can do something cool. I will take it next time because yeah, I'm playing four cards. Um, see, no good damage cards. But I still don't think it's worth playing boost capacitors versus two damage. 
Might as well play block shot just in case I've miscalculated something. <laughs> oh, this has been very easy so far, to be honest. Um, even this two damage is incoming, I don't even need to dodge it. I might because... Well, let's do this first. And then let's do this. And then I get the fucking dodge back. Oh my god, this is crazy. Okay, so I'm only going to take one damage. And then that's going to be completely blocked by Temp Shield. And I'm just stockpiling dodge. This is crazy. This is working out even better than I imagined. Um, I think I'll dodge again. And burn through those shards. Just because I'm gonna, probably going to draw even more. More damage is good. i just completely safe with this build. Given that, I should just keep doing damage, I think. Um, and I still may not need to move. Because if I switch this, I'm only going to take two damage total. And I've got two temp shield. <laughs> I may have more dodge than I need. I might have over over invested in that. Uh, I'm going to take this now. Fuck it. And I'm going to draw shot. And yeah, let's focus maybe on speed at this point. Uh, no reason not to play that. I might flip that. Doesn't make a huge amount of difference. Oh yeah, I keep forgetting this is eternal. Mage Hand is my best card at this point, I think. So I'm still going to take just two total, aren't I? So I'm fine with the block that I already have. Yeah, having two Temp Shield every turn is pretty great. Oh, here... Now their damage is getting serious, so now I actually need to think of it a little bit. So Zircon Zip, I think, is a great start. I don't think I'm in danger of... Well, I might as well play Draw Shot first, because... Uh, and Mage Hand. No danger of running out of Shard. Might even... I've got nothing in my draw pile right now, so when I play these, I'm gonna, it's going to shuffle. Do I want Zircon Zip to be in that shuffle or not? I think no, because I've got 10 fucking dodge. <laughs> Um, yep. Dodge is not going to be a problem. Uh, so if I just dodge this far, now I'm going to take two damage and I'll be fine. This boss is generally an easy one in the grand scheme of things. Uh, it's not usually this easy. <laughs> this is uh, unusually straightforward. Damn, did I just spend Mage Hand and draw Mage Hand? I think that's it. Yep. Wow, that was extremely straightforward. <laughs> Another non-temp crystal shard. Uh, ooh, so that one does damage for all the shield you've got. Uh, it doesn't you don't lose the shield seemingly? Ooh, damage is shield plus temp shield. That's very good. That might be the, the kind of key to flipping my thing. This just, it is a positive, but it feels a bit redundant, doesn't it? I don't want to, even more crystal shards. I mean, then there is no downside to them, really. Um, trying to think, is there an enemy that penalizes you per card play? I don't think so. But shield gun's fun. That just seems exciting. Uh, permanent gain plus one max shield. Gain one shield at the start of every turn. Are you kidding me? If shield is already filled, take two full damage. Well, that doesn't matter because I can increase my max shield easily. And I lose one shield every turn. Zero doubler. First time I play zero cost card, it does actions twice. That's great, but it really just gets me more shards. I don't have enough shard capacity for that to be worth it. Um, three shield and three evade the first turn. Nope, don't want that. Yeah, this one's perfect. This is just going to make my build even better. Maybe I'm just a hard mode guy now. Maybe I think I've been playing with Max and Cat for a while. And those, I just really struggle with those classes. So normal is hard enough for those. But here, I think, uh, these are three characters I'm already comfortable with, so I probably should have done hard. Um, already got Mitosis. Definitely want to do Mage Hand. Oh, this guy's a bastard. He He's not going to do it now. Oh, wait. Maybe it's not this one, actually. So he's just got more damage to each attack. Um... 
There's one who, who will dodge when you shoot him, and it's so annoying. <laughs> it's I just can't get my head around it, like, predicting what it's going to do. Um, I don't mind losing shield now, because I'm not allowed to keep my shield. Uh, but I have to say, block shot makes a lot of sense here. I mean, I actually kind of want to lose shield, but I've got mitosis, so that's fine. Oh, let's do this. Um, because selective memory, I don't know what I would want to draw with selective memory right now. Um... I'm just going to take all the shield damage, I think. Because this will be the last turn where I don't get two free shield. And I've only got one dodge, so I want to save that. Drawing Zircon Zip there actually was, was bad for me. Um, so this is currently not good. But if I had the upgrade to it, this would do three damage, which is already good. And then once you get into stuff like this, it would start to get really serious, because this would now be five damage. I mean, I wouldn't be able to do it this turn, but... Yeah, I think I've, I've somehow gone for simultaneously a tank build and a dodge build. <laughs> you usually have to move around a lot more than this. Shield gun might even be worth it here. Oh, no, selective memory, let's do this. Um, uh, how much shield do I have? Sorry, shard. Okay, so Zircon Zip is good. Yeah, um, that's what I'm lacking at the moment is dodge. Uh, so this is the dodge I want to make, plus it gets me two more dodge. That's great. I will still have two left over to do the shield gun, so I think I might just do that. Two damage is better than one. Definitely want more shard. Mage hand is nice. And draw shot is nice. Always do crystal shard. So he's doing four damage. I can absorb two of that for free. Uh, I probably do just want to dodge this though. Or I just do block shot. Yeah, let's just do block shot and then I've got so much temp shield. So imagine if I had that shield gun now. Oof. Oof. It could be real good. Losing temp shield feels great, I've got to say. Man, boost capacitors is now starting to pay for itself because increasing my shield capacity is just great for me. I'm going to... Um, keep gaining shield for free. Some of my, the shield I gain is going to turn into double shield for free. <laughs> uh, and as, the higher that headroom is, the more leeway I have to let that ebb and flow. This five damage incoming, that would normally be pretty scary. Um, but it's not right now. Definitely going to prioritize damage here. Definitely going to do mage hand. Crystal shard, crystal shard. And then it's going to do five. I don't care about the shield it's going to cost me. So maybe I literally just keep firing. This is kind of the fun thing with like a sufficiently safe build is you can start really over investing in, in attacks. I can't wait to upgrade shield gun. That's going to be absolutely incredible. I think earlier I said like these kinds of games being too easy is never a problem because um, building a great deck is really fun. I think that's broadly true. The exception is building a really safe deck is less fun. <laughs> and this was, this was a really safe deck and it's still... It's still safe, uh, but now it's getting some really exciting damage potential, and then that will be, you know... I'm never upset if I can close out fights too fast. I am upset if the fight still takes a long time, but is very safe. Um, search, discard, move a card to the drop of the draw pile. Yeah. If I put it in my hand, maybe, but nah, I don't think any of those are, are useful to us. Um, Probably the Bottom route is better. It's longer before the repair yard, which is a shame, but we get an elite. Oh, we can get elite the top way too. Yeah, let's do that. Because I can't wait to upgrade. So I don't have mitosis this time. Uh, I'd like to draw it. Let's see if I draw it by serendipity. I haven't yet. I'm probably going to play this anyway. Oh god. Fuck, that was a misclick. You can't undo in this game, and I wish you could. It doesn't bother me nearly as much as it used to, but I think for new players it would be the absolute like silver bullet to making this game just a pleasure to learn. Because anything you don't understand, if you can undo it, then doing it wrong is a is purely tutorialization. Um, whereas if you can't undo it, it's a frustrating experience. Uh, yeah, Zircon Zip is good. I want to flip it, I believe. Yep, no downside to that. That's decent. I didn't do mitosis, but there'll be time for that. 
So, that's four damage incoming. I've got enough dodge to just get out of it. In fact, I can gain dodge too, so that's great. It doesn't make sense to shoot that missile because I can just, if I dodge, then I... Ooh. Damn. Shield gun would do four damage at this point. Boost capacitors. That's nice. Yeah, even pre-upgraded shield gun is going to benefit from that a lot. Um, if I do that and block shot, that is pretty strong already. Do I use a dodge and shoot the missile out the air? Uh, no, I want to do damage, and the, th the three block I'm going to get is crazy. It's a shame, so there's a drone-focused character, and there's a drone-focused ship. Um, if you don't take either of those, drones are pretty rare. I have turned down a drone-like thing before, but i kind of like to show you that mechanic. Maybe I'll, I'll add one, even if it doesn't make a huge amount of sense, um, just to show it off. But drones just to add a whole other dimension to this, where you're launching your own little objects, like these missiles. In fact, even missiles, there are some missiles in the game, but um, uh, we haven't seen any yet. I might just shoot this one. Uh, there's nothing in my draw pile, so I should shoot this, then do draw shot. Now there is stuff in my draw pile. What is in my draw pile? Shield gun, which would do a lot of damage, but I don't have enough energy for it. That's annoying. Um, I'll just... I think maybe May Chan is better. Oh no, I don't want that much shield, do I? I'd rather lose the shield at this point than gain it. Actually, I'm not going to play this other one. So I'm at capacity, and there's no reason to draw cards when you're out of energy, so. Yeah, it's actually. I, I need to start losing shield. <laughs> but I have got shield gun at just the right time, so I think I just fire that right now. I'm not going to do capacitors as well. And I'll just take the damage. I'm actually not, still not going to take any real damage. Um, but even if I move, I w that wouldn't change. So, Oh, that was even armoured. God. <laughs> I've got so many ways of protecting myself. Uh, let me... Yeah, I'll do that. I want something... Well, actually, I probably want shield gun again, don't I? Yeah, hell yeah. So I could move. I actually don't want to dodge the damage. It doesn't matter, but this is better. Oh, and in fact, I can finish it. Woo! Okay. Upgrade shield gun. Ooh, acid cannon. Here we go. Now that's damage. That's pre-upgraded. That's great. Hell yeah. So I'm going to have a bunch of, like, really heavy damage cards. So, got to be upgrade, hasn't it? Um, the acid one's already upgraded. It's all about shield gun. And it's definitely B that I want. Yeah, gaining shield before doing it, that's nothing-y. This is much bigger deal. Okay, cannons are awkwardly aligned here. Right? I'm going to need some dodge to compensate for that. I think I just go right. And I got Zircon Zip, which is nice. Uh, yeah, that... Oh no, I shouldn't, yeah, I shouldn't have used that. Uh, I should have, should have played the card first. I was thinking there was no way that could be a problem, but actually I could have got the, the right movement for free. Uh, okay. Do I want, maybe I go big on shields right from the start? No, I've got to do Zircon Zip because um, I want the, the dodge. Oh, but then Mage Hand do more damage. Okay, I'll just do two basic shots and then a Zircon Zip. My tendency to like spend a long time thinking about stuff is only slightly reduced when I'm in a very strong position. <laughs> like even if it's pretty much assured I'll win, I still spend a long time thinking about things. Uh, I think it's too tempting to do the Acid Cannon. Shield Gun does good damage, but Acid Cannon I should have explained, actually, the Acid Cannon, the Corrode, deals one hull damage at the start of every turn. So that is just going to be a nice ongoing damage. And that, I believe that penetrates shields. Yeah, it says hull damage, right? So so happy to lose the shield. I haven't got Mitosis going yet. 
Ooh, he's got a thing that drains energy on draw. I don't like that. Let's get rid of it, please. Um, I don't mind taking this damage. Is there... Oh, there's nothing in my draw pile, so I can't use that. Okay, that was actually a bit close. Not really scary, but... Um, I Gaining some shield would be nice now. So, Mage Hand's a good one. So is Acid Cannon. And this missile... I've got some dodge. I think I do Acid Cannon again, actually. And then dodge to the right. Oh, I can't switch my cannon again. Okay, then I am going to take... Well, I'll take some shield damage. I won't take any other kinds of damage. Oh, actually, if I dodge right, the missile's going to be partly protected. So that should be okay. Yeah, nice. That purple missile is homing, so I can't dodge it. Don't like these energy leaks. Oh, God. Well, maybe it's good to just get rid of them all on the same turn. And Zircon Zip is a nice one to draw here, actually. Um, Shall I dodge the other way and then switch my cannon to block some of the damage? It doesn't... Oh, what? Oh, I pressed the wrong button to flip it. Um, well, that changes things. Now I do want to flip, dodge in this direction. The good news is I'm not in danger of um, hitting max shield and <laughs> losing hull. Ugh, these damn things. Okay, but I can win here with shield gun. He's got two health, he's got no shield. Let's just, just do it. Yeah. Options. No, that seems really bad. Curious what the upgrades are. Okay, dodge, draw cards, and draw cards next turn is nice, but not not useful for me. Stun source? Yeah, getting stun every turn. The first thing, first shot every turn stuns them. It's kind of nice. I've got so much defense, though. I, It's only them putting cards on my deck that I want to stop. Which would be nice, but spending four energy, like I don't have a way of getting four energy right now. I think none of those are good for me. So we want to go down at that next junction because I want to make sure I get the elite. Okay, one upgrade ram. Oh, remove a card, definitely. Um, and I want to get rid of some defensive stuff. Shield surge is pretty bad now. I mean, shield gun makes all the shieldy stuff good again, but... Um, <laughs> I think I've got better shield stuff. Oh, maybe I should just get rid of these basic attack cards. Yeah, let's get rid of one of those. Because I'm not actually hurting for damage anymore. And in a way, shield becomes damage, so... Okay, that's unnecessary, but I'll take it. Oh, we're going to have to jet into something. Oh, this could be interesting. Not losing shield gun. Draw shot, I don't want to lose. That one I might. That's starting to feel excessive, isn't it? Um... Spending an energy to get one of those. I think Shard is, is less of the center of our deck now. Um, I thought it might become in the center of our deck, but it doesn't look like it at this point. And I've, I've just got, you know, free crystal shards all the time. I mean, Zircon Zip does benefit from Shard a lot. If we were scrounging for dodge, then I'd be more into that. Uh, let's do Crystal Shard first, see what we draw. Drew Mitosis, which is exactly what I wanted. Now, I'm only going to take one damage here, so it's very low stakes. If I switch my cannon, I can attack without spending any... Oh, wait, I'm going to use Zircon Zip anyway, right? I might actually use this to draw a Crystal Shard, so that I get two dodge from the other thing. Because that's very energy efficient. Acid Cannon would be great. Oh, hang on. No, I haven't built enough up enough shield yet, so... Uh, crystal Shard. Because Crystal Shard also draws something else. Oh, wow, a <laughs> free dodge. That that upgrade's so good. Just having two free dodge just early on is great. So, am I going to dodge... Yeah, if I dodge one right, I'll be aligned with my right-hand cannon. So that's nice. I've only got one energy left, but that's fine. Um, and I think, do two damage. Don't care about losing shield. Got five dodge. Oh yeah, we're, we're heating up. We're getting heat. When we hit three heat, we'll lose some hull. So really, that, all that means is I just need to close this out as fast as possible. Um, 
having a bunch of dodge is nice just to make things simple. So I can acid him. Or if I did this, shield gun then does six damage. But this is five straight up and then one ongoing. I mean, it's four straight up and one ongoing, but obviously the one will trigger this turn as well. I think she, I think acid is better, right? Normally, like a damage over time, you would think that's not the right thing for a situation where you want to kill fast. But it, if it's faster than the other thing, then then it is. Uh, do I need to dodge this damage? No, because the shield I lose wouldn't help against the the heat or anything. So here's another case where I can switch cannons instead of dodging. We're both going to take hull damage this time. There's nothing I can do about it, really. Um, I can Zircon Zip to... Uh, is that good? If I did... If I went right, then yeah, I, I dodge one and I get uh, an angle on him. Then I can Mage Hand. I might actually get the shield, because it increases the shield cannon. Does that make sense? Only by one, though. And this does one damage, so no. First hull damage of the game. <laughs> Not usually this deep into the game. Uh, again, I can switch cannons instead of moving. Which seems smart to me. And I'm certainly going to do this. Ooh, and I got shield gun and I can afford it. That's great. And then what am I going to take? I take three damage, two of which will be absorbed by temporary stuff. That's fine. I'll lose some shield, but yeah. Uh, we are trying to close this out as fast as possible because of the heat. So acid cannon again might be strongest option. I do want to dodge this damage because I think this would be hull damage right now. Actually, no, it wouldn't. Let me do this first in case it's relevant. Okay, shield gun. Uh, acid cannon is still better. Acid cannon is really good. And then I could just toggle cannons. No, it makes more sense to just dodge. Yeah, this is good. So we'll take... Oh, we actually don't take the hull damage, I think, because we'll, we'll just win here. Beautiful. Only one hull damage in that whole fight. I thought it would be more than that. <laughs> and we get healed by that relic. And so, yeah, we actually... We healed all of our damage there, but we also gained a max hull, so um, doesn't look like it. Uh, what is that? Converts shield into dodge and zeroes out your shield. Doesn't help us here. Stun charge. I could see an argument for it for blocking nasty effects. I'd need to really engage with it. Um, I'm a little bit wary of it taking up space. That could be some of our big damage cards. I'm kind of thinking no on that. If there was something like, yeah, that, that stun source where it's ongoing, that's nice. If we had the four energy, I might have gone for that. Um, stun charge, it's just, it just means it kind of costs you two cards to do that because you also need an attack card. Uh, temp shield, do a missing hull. Not going to be a big deal for us. End your turn with more than one energy, gain one shield. That's really interesting for us. Um, Every time you discard pile shuffle back into your draw pile, the enemy loses one hull. That's pretty nice. It means the smaller our deck is, the more passive damage we get. I'm sort of tempted by that, because it, it, it feeds into this risk-reward thing of like giving us more shield for the shield gun. Yeah, let's do it. Just lean into that synergy every time we can. Is the, the acid gun is pre-upgraded, isn't it? Yeah. Um... So I think it's definitely remove at this point. Repair six hull. I've only lost one hull. I guess that's just how much it could be. So remove basic shot, I think. Or shield surge now that I've got... Because I can now get that shield just by not spending an energy. Um, not that I would do that most of the time. Yeah, I, I think the basic shot. I like the idea of sort of focusing on shield but using it for damage.
So that is Riggs talking to a clone of Riggs. <laughs> um, uh, for reasons that I won't get into. Because um, I don't know. Uh, is it safe to... I want to use a dodge here to, to align myself with this weak spot up here. Uh, I suppose I'll do this first. If I get Zircon Zip, or a means to draw Zircon Zip, which I did, uh, that is good. On the other hand, it's also very tempting just to... If I dodge one to the right, I also dodge the only damage I really care about and get the acid off right away. That's got to be best, doesn't it? it? Means I don't play mitosis. I don't. I, I use my only dodge. <laughs> but the fact that I don't have Zircon Zip is actually a good thing then, because it means I'll, I'll almost certainly draw it next turn. In fact, I certainly will draw it next turn. So I do this. I switch the cannons, and I fire the acid. I think acid is just good every time I can do it. So. I'm running a little bit closer to the wire this time. Um, I'm tempted to actually go left because, yeah, I've got the basic dodge too. So move left, and then I can spend one to get aligned with his weak spot again. These uh, missile slots on the right, that icon on them means if I shoot them, it stuns them. So that's nice. Uh, but they're only missiles, so as, if they're not going to hit me, I don't care. I actually don't have enough to, to use Mage Hand, so boost capacitors makes a lot of sense. Tons of shield, which I don't want to go crazy on, but I want to go quite crazy on it so that I can use shield gun. So shield gun's five right now. I could play sh this first and it would be eight, which is amazing. Um, but then acid cannons in my hand. Acid cannons kind of, it's so good that it's kind of neutering my shield gun. <laughs> I feel like I'm, I can't lean into the build I plan because acid gun's just straightforwardly great. 8 damage now, or 4 damage now, and 1 damage every turn. It's going to be a long fight. The acid is better. And I can easily afford to take the damage. Oh, you know what? If I move right, then I switch cannons. I'll also stun him. Because this is going to be some kind of shield thing. I assume it's temporary shield with the purple icon. Yeah. So, yeah, acid cannon will get several things done there. Yeah, that seems good. Zook on zip. Nice to have. Um, what is in my draw pile right now? Mitosis. Ah, yeah, that would be nice to have. I'm going to do that. That's kind of a safety net that I don't have right now. And I've got a ton of basic shield to burn through. This might be another one where moving to the right is worth it to... Actually, no, I don't need to stun him. Oh, no, I def definitely want to move to the left instead and switch cannon so I can hit him where he's weak. So I won't use Zircon Zip. That was a lot of temp shield that I just hit. Um, oh, this is interesting. No, it's not. <laughs> I thought I wanted to play Zircon Zip to get the dodge, but actually I wouldn't get any dodge in here because I don't have shard. So the deck is being more balanced now. Ooh, ooh, was that a mistake? Am I going to lose... So Mitosis is going to... Ah, oh, shit. Mitosis is at the start of my turn. I think I'm going to lose health on the end of my turn for having max shield. I didn't think that one through. Oh, it didn't happen. Is that... Let me read the description. Um, where is it? Permanently gain plus one max shield. Gain one shield at the start of every turn. Oh, so they both happen at the start of every turn. Okay, so they probably happen in like the player-friendly order. God damn it. Acid cannon. Stop being so good. I've got to use you again, haven't I? I do want to uh, lose some health here. I don't have enough dodge, really. So let's play this first. So if I want to play acid cannon without moving, then I should just switch cannons. I think that makes sense, actually. Oh, especially because he's going to do shields. So that is something I, w I do want to stun. And Zircon Zip, just even costing one energy, is too much for me right now. So yeah, getting three acid on him is great. And I'll just tank everything he's sending at me, because I, I want to lose shield right now. Damn, I, <laughs> I want to lose more shield than he's doing. This is fine. But I've got to actually start trying to take damage. <laughs> oh, eight, eight damage on the shield gun. And I can do block shot first. And I can do it to his weak spot. Hello. This is going to be great. That. Could it be game? <laughs> it's game, holy shit. 
<laughs> Finally, Shield Gun gets its moment to shine. Ooh, Quantum Quarry. One shard every turn. Okay, that's nice. It's not crazy. Overflowing Power. This is the good one. So, increases your max shard. If you have four shard, it gets you Power Drive, which has one damage to all attacks. It's actually, it's not... It doesn't fit with my build as well as some things would. Um... So if I'm already at 3 when I play this, I get the, the Power Drive. Power Drive is a permanent buff. It's like having 1 strength in, say, the Spire. Except it's a much bigger deal than 1 strength here because the numbers are lower in general. Um, what I don't have is a ton of cards that, like, hit multiple times. I don't have any that hit multiple times. So it's less useful to me than to most people. Uh, and I'm not as overflowing with shards as I was. It's actually a very tight deck, isn't it? It's very few cards. Um... Quantum Quarry might be better for me. But this one gets me shards and shard capacity. So it's kind of good in that way. I think Overflowing Power is more fun, so I'm going to go for it. High Frequency Intercom. Plus two cards every turn. Offered one less card and post-battle card rewards. You can't skip any. So they're offering one less, no problem at all, because my deck is basically built at this point. Uh, but having to take them, terrible. One evade every turn. You can no longer have more than three evade at a time. That's, that's not good for us. Every time you gain a shield, gain one temp shield. Huge. Huge. Because that is, you know, every turn we gain a temp, we gain a real shield. Then that real shield is turned in, so we'll gain a temp, oh, sorry. Ugh. Every turn we gain a real shield. And now, because of the new artifact, we'll also gain a temp shield. Then the one real shield will be taken away by mitosis and turned into two temp shield, which gives us three temp shield, and shield cannon uh, procs off temp shield as well as real shield. So that is just like three pure profit basically every every turn. Um, once mitosis is going, obviously. And we didn't get mitosis yet. I think I will draw it. Uh, or maybe I want... Can I get enough shards for overflowing power? I can't. And I might want to stock up on dodge. Actually, no, I've already stocked up on dodge. So shield gun's looking pretty good this turn. Of course, I could go for acid gun. <laughs> Fuck it, let's go for acid gun. It's just really good. And I'll just tank all the damage he's doing. Doesn't doesn't need dodging. There is an event that can duplicate cards, so that would be amazing for us right now. I'll take Mitosis right now. Man, I'd love to get rid of Shield Surge at this point. I don't need to surge my shields. <laughs> That's the last thing I need. Ooh, Zircon Zip is nicely timed. There's an argument for doing Overflowing Power, actually, because then the next time it comes up, I'll be able to use it and get its full benefit. Because I've already got a load of dodge. And I don't need to dodge this turn. I think I won't dodge this turn. Happy to let that shield get eaten into. Yeah. This being a small deck with a lot of crystal shards is very nice. Okay, I didn't get overflowing power. I could use draw shot to try and draw it, actually. Or I could just settle for my 5 damage with this thing. Or even, actually, it could be 8 damage, couldn't it? Shit, that makes too much sense. I've got to do that. 10 damage, holy shit. Ugh. Fucking devastating. He's going to do a ton of damage to me. I didn't even count it up because I'm just going to have so much temp shield. Shield gun's going to do 6 again this turn. Oh my god, this deck is popping off. Um, Yeah, that's got to be better than acid cannon in, in this scenario. That's uh, so just got 4 left. Uh, I again can just tank everything he's doing to me. Can't play any of that. Don't need to worry about it. I don't think I've ever had a, a deck where I need to dodge this little. <laughs> okay, and now I've got overflowing power. It, it's of no use to me, really, but I will show you how it works, which is... I do that. I gain even more shard. All my shard is spent, but now I have this power drive. One damage to all attacks. Uh, and I hope I draw at least one attack at some fucking point. I just drew four shards. I got forgotten they're called crystal whatevers in a row. I only have two of them. <laughs> so I drew them. My draw power ran out. It reshuffled and it shuffled both of them back on top. If you did that as a human shuffling, someone would, would assume you had fucked up. Um, I 
Yeah, I can't finish him this turn, weirdly. I think I might as well do this too, because it would just make Shield Gun even more powerful. So he's... Oh, oh he died from the Acid, of course. <laughs> um, that The concept of that enemy is that he keeps gaining overdrive, so that, that new thing that I got access to, uh, he can do. Big Shield I do not want. Um, don't want any of those, really. So, definitely two repair yards sounds good. Just looking to uh, strip things out. I'll go to his question marks, too. Here's a crab. I for sure want to acid him. This is Acid's great on him, because look how much shield he's got. And Acid is just going to cut right through it. Um, overflowing power is no use to me. And I can't play anything else. There's no damage incoming. Oh, it's another hot place. This is awkward. So I want to finish it fast, but he's got a ton of shield. That makes me think... Oh, these are drones. Um, enemy drones. They're pointing at me. They're also shielded. Trying to take these out just seems like a, a waste of time to me. Um, I would rather... I actually... Could I have... Hmm, even Zircon Zip is not super great for me right now, but it's probably the best thing I could draw. Oh no, basic dodge. I mean, actually, that's no better than... It's slightly better than Zircon Zip. So, oh no, oh, I'm an idiot. I should have drawn the other one because the other one draws a card. So I would have known I would draw basic dodge. I'm so good at thinking of smart players like a second after I've done the play. <laughs> um, so I'm not worried about damage here. I mean, I don't want to take both of them because I think they're two damage each, yeah. Um, I just, if I do this, I, I have an angle on him now, right? So oh, I can even do draw shot. Or I could do this first, then hit him, and then it's more power. Yeah, that's got to be good. Seven damage, yeah. So, we're sort of fighting him in two different ways at the moment, which doesn't make a lot of sense. Like, the acid is bypassing the shield. What it really means is once I have finished eating through the shield, uh, I will have less actual health to worry about. So he's going to hit me with a heat-seeking missile on a drone. That is fine by me, because I want to lose some shield right now. Oh, fuck. Did I just... I did mitosis, and now I can't do acid cannon. Not the end of the world. Ooh, dodge is nice. So is overflowing power. Um, I think I'll do overflowing power. I've got two dodge in the bank. I don't need it this turn. I'm just tanky enough in general that it's not too big of a deal. And now I've got Mitosis going too. Ooh, he's got quite a lot of drones now. <laughs> this is... The drone situation is escalating. Um, if I dodge right, then switch cannons, I can shoot through these. And then I'm getting hit by... He's going to shoot his own drone. So... This is six damage incoming. It's actually not the end of the world, even as is. And Shield Gun is going to work great. I don't even need to switch cannons, do I? Although I should. Uh, no, I shouldn't, because uh, I've, I've got armor there. So nine damage. Boom. All right, yeah, and so much temp shield, I just don't need to worry about what's incoming. I think Shield Gun used to remove all your shield before doing that, and, and then do that much damage. It seems, and uh, maybe like an upgrade made it not remove the shield. It seems very strong right now. So I can't dodge all the way over to him. I'm kind of stranded over here now. He's going to die of acid eventually. I actually, I can't see his health bar properly. Two. So he's not going to die this turn. Uh, but and I'm not going to take hull damage this turn either. So this is fine. Uh, I will just... Uh, I'm not even going to spend the dodge... I'd love to gain the dodge. But in the absence of that, just gain a bunch of temp shield to make sure these shots don't penetrate. To be honest, I didn't even need to do that. Okay, he's dead now. Acid cannon just for the big finish. <laughs> okay, none of those. Aha, the duplication thing. All right, big decisions. I could duplicate something four times. Uh, before I decide that, let me see what it would be. Um, 
Overflowing power? Is that crazy? It, it gets me no protection and no damage, so having a ton of them in my deck is mad. But it would just make me more and more powerful. I mean, that that's the that's the gist. <laughs> uh, acid cannon's tempting. Uh, two acid cannons would be great, so I might just go for the duplicate one card and do two acid cannons. Um, and then if I can get any, any relics that give me energy, that would be real nice. Yeah, I can't see stuff that where you want four of them really. I mean, crystal shard, but but it doesn't. I don't know. Actually, is crystal shard a good idea? Because it would kind of mean I was. It doesn't cost me anything in terms of hand size, and it kind of mean I'm always at max shard, which means overflowing power would kick in as soon as I draw it. That's interesting. I think that basically means I stay at max. It's rare to actually have a Crystal Shard in your deck, because even the Relic that adds one into the start of your hand, it doesn't mean there's one in your deck, so I wouldn't have this opportunity, except that I, I use that one card that gives me a permanent one. So this is pretty fun. I mean, there's that. That would just give me a ton of power over what I draw and when. But I think this, actually, it's wacky. And since we have such a safe build... Isn't it weird? I'm, I'm kind of glad it removed Max Hull instead of normal hull, because now my ship doesn't look damaged. <laughs> Even though it's definitely worse to lose hull and max hull. You know, there might be a situation here where... Um... Okay, so let's test this theory. Um, a situation where at this next junction, I might not want to go to the repair yard, and I might, I might prefer to fight an elite and get a relic. Because, like I say, an energy relic would be really nice with this acid cannon. It, it really sucks. I have to spend my whole turn playing it. This is so. If I had stun, this is the kind of situation where I would want to to block something, but I can't because this guy fires from an empty thing, so you can never actually hit the thing that's firing at you. So I would be annoyed if I'd got invested in that at this point. So I think I just go. Oh, I can do Zircon Zip. In fact, hmm. If I do Zircon Zip, I'm back to zero shards. Yeah, I don't, I, no, I don't want to do as a concept at all, because uh, I wouldn't be able to play Acid Cannon. I wonder if I'll regret not duping Acid Cannon. Okay. I might not get the thing I want. Oh no, this is good already, I think, because I've got three now. It's going to gain me a capacity, then gain me a shard. I'll be at four, then it'll do its thing. Right? Yeah. And it was worth waiting because now I get to gain a shard as well. Yeah, this could work. <laughs> this might be a good build. Um, is there anything I'd like more? Not more than mitosis, I think. I will use this. Uh, mage hand? Oh no, again, I've learned my lesson now. Take the crystal shard, then you'll draw the mage hand. And that will hit. And I don't mind about any of the damage he's doing to me. This thing of like taking damage if I cap out on my shield is really nice because it makes me enjoy taking damage. Like <laughs> I love it when it eats into my shield now. So overflowing power. I think it's still on my deck, right? I think I, uh, I don't think it exhausts. No, it doesn't exhaust. So um, I could draw it still. Uh, I've got eight damage here with shield gun. I very much like that. And maybe I, I could do that and mage hand, I guess. Fear stays in my hand? Is that right? Yeah. Well, then I don't really care about it, because it's not going to fuck with how many I draw. I suppose once it fills up my draw capacity, that would be a problem. But I'd love to... Ooh, look at that. Five damage on the acid cannon. Overflowing power again, but actually it doesn't make sense to do it, does it? Because I can just, with the raw power of the acid cannon... I'm just going to win right here. Damn. This deck is crazy. Oh, shit. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this is amazing. Lose all shard for each attack for two damage. So this is, I was saying, I, I wanted a card that hits for multiple times. This is multiple times per shard, and overflowing power increases the damage per shot. It also increases my maximum shards. Um... So yeah, upgrading that would be nice. Let me remind myself what the upgrade is. Um, I think it's three damage is one of them. Yeah, it could be three damage. 
Oh, the other one is it doesn't exhaust. That's huge, so I can keep on using it. Yeah, I've got to do that. Okay. Getting a, an energy relic might have been nice, but I, I prefer... Leaning into this shard synergy is um, more fun, I think. Because the acid thing, it's great, but having more energy to play it more just means more of the same kind of thing. <laughs> Heal booster, do not need that. Certainly going here, and I think this is time to remove something, isn't it? Uh, I'll go to remove. I will just check if there's stuff. God, look at all those crystal shards. Overflowing power is already upgraded. Zircon Zip is not, actually, but I, it's fine. If I could make it free, I would do that, but... Uh, shield gun is already upgraded. Acid cannon is already upgraded. Yeah, I just want to remove something. Oh, I am also removing something. Uh, so Shield Surge is my least useful card, isn't it? Just a pile of nothing. Okay. Yeah, this is getting to the part where it's like, it's fun to be overpowered. <laughs> I'm enjoying this kind of overpower. Just seeing the numbers go up like crazy. Um, I've got three, so I definitely want overthrowing power here. This is a weird fight where this guy is dormant, and when I attack him, he'll wake up. But if I do enough damage with that first attack, he can just die on the spot. So, acid cannon wouldn't have been enough, so... I can't remember, does he wake up on turn two regardless, or...? Mitosis. I think I won't attack. I think I'll see if it's possible to I did not wake up. Okay, he healed, but he didn't wake up, so I think it was good that I didn't attack. And now I can do... Let's see. Mage Hand, then Shield Gun. That might be enough. This is solid, right? I am going to hit him here. There's something slightly weird. I guess he's buried is, is why it doesn't look... To me, it looks like he's fading out, but I think that's like a material behind him that he's fading into. So I do this first because it gains me one shield. Oh my god! So a couple of times I've been like surprised by how much shield gun went up by. It's because when I gain a normal shield, I gain a temp shield. So even gaining one normal shield gets this. This does two extra damage. All right, that's awesome. This is, despite him waking up and being fully active, I think this is going to be fine. <laughs> and all those crystal shards is going to be so good for this. I can just replenish up to max so fast. Uh, so this is going to be 12 damage. <laughs> Fuck yes. Oh, no, it was it was 3 per, wasn't it? So, yeah, I guess that was 12. Um, yeah, that card normally does 2 damage per shard, but I had the overflowing power already. Yeah, this is fucking strong, man. <laughs> this might be one of the strongest decks I've ever had. Which is actually very cool. Like, Although... I think it was too easy to get this online, and, and the, uh, the first chapter was uh, maybe a bit, uh, you know, safe. Um, I'm happy about it because I would have told you that the best synergies tend to involve those two attack characters I, I talked about, because uh, both of them have ways of just hitting multiple times in a turn, or stunning reliably, and hitting multiple times per turn, then getting overdrive, or there's, um, there's a lesser version of overdrive uh, that that goes away. Um, though that's just such a great combo. And then the Jupiter lets you throw out drones that kind of duplicate your attacks. And that, and you're hitting multiple times, and each hit is boosted. That's kind of the, I would say that's the the default, uh, the dominant meta maybe. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know about high levels, but that's like, that's the most reliable way of getting a really good build going on. First time you play a Crystal Shard each turn game, one Temp Shield. I mean, fuck, why not? Um... That's also fairly good. Ooh. After your first attack each turn, gain one stun charge. That's probably the most... Like, that gets me something I can't get any other way right now. So I think I'll go for that. Stacking on more temp shield is tempting, but it's kind of... It's uh, singing the same tune at this point, isn't it? Okay. Uh, I'm still thinking remove. Because I love my deck and I just want the good stuff to come up more. Even draw shot is kind of questionable at this point. Maybe even Mage Hand is questionable. Because I don't want to spend the shard, generally. Because I just want to draw more overflowing power. And the one that spends it, bit by bit. Because this one is two per. This is two per as well. I could upgrade it, of course, but... Yeah, I think removing that is good.
the shield part of that was kind of nice, but yeah. Okay, so this is the final boss. I like our chances just fine. Because I can get up to max shield. Gain an overdrive. Keep drawing these. Shame I can't do acid this turn, but um, can't have everything. I will do mitosis. I'm on track to take three damage, or actually two damage, so that's fine. I could do that. Or I could just do Zerk on Zip. I would Zerk on Zip to the left, not the right. Which will. It won't protect me from anything, but gains me a. Um, gains me a dodge. Or should I just do three damage? Oh, if I went. <laughs> okay, if I went right and switch cannons, I could do three damage to his weak spot. That's only four damage, it's not actually that big of a deal. And I take five damage in return, which is probably. It's probably a bit ballsy for this early on. I think Zircon's it makes sense. You want to build up dodge when you don't have dodge. And now I should switch my cannons as well. I mean, actually, no, it didn't matter at all. I didn't need to do that. Yeah, I never thought about duplicating Crystal Shard four times before. I see that, that multiple duplication option every time, and it's always like, no, that's crazy. It won't, it, you know, it's going to do more harm than good. Uh, but for once, I actually had a build where that made perfect sense. Uh, I think I might as well spend this. There's no point in not. And it will actually get me deeper into my deck. Okay. Um, that's nice. So I definitely want to go here. And I think I just do... Oh no, if I did draw shot first, I might draw more crystal shards, right? Yes, I surely did. Oh, I'm going to have four of them. It's going to be a four for three... Oh, that's a meaty hit. And I get to replenish. This is so good. I've even got one energy, so if the overflowing power came up, I could do it. Unfortunately, it didn't. And, uh, yeah. Zircons, it might still be a good idea. But maybe I want to save the energy for if overflowing power comes up. And I'll just do this. Oh, yeah, another damage is good. Another hit on the weak spot, I mean. Okay, this should be, this should be quick. Overflowing power was ready to pop. So is Acid. I think Acid is actually too slow for me now. I think I've outgrown it. Outgrown Acid. Who would have thought the day would come? <laughs> um, I think the shield is worth it here. The headroom is nice. And I'm going to take a ton of damage here if I don't dodge. And I'd probably rather not dodge. What is that? It's four total. So yeah, that's fine. Absolutely fine. Oh, that's interesting. I'm aligned with his weak spot, but there's a missile in the way. And it's not the greatest. Um, wow. It's just all shards. I should have got rid of block shot. Why didn't I do that? But this is very good. And actually, so the first one will destroy the missile, then the rest will hit the weak spot. So that's great. Could have played block shot first, but it would have been the same difference. Yeah, this is this is over. <laughs> like, my build is too good. I could be stunning these cannons on the left and right of the weak spot, but why bother? Why not just just get a ton of damage all the time? Why not just be extremely powerful? Ah, oh, I wonder, was there a way I could have done that in one? I don't think so. Um, I'm not even going to dodge this damage. I'd rather take the damage at this point. An overflowing power, I might as well play. It doesn't, I won't trigger, but... Damn, what a thrashing. Maybe I've outgrown normal. As long as Max isn't on my team, I've outgrown normal. Oh, now for a nice finish. Acid cannon right to the weak spot. <laughs> okay, this game is usually harder than that. Um, it is, uh, you know, normal is very approachable. It's not, not difficult. Um, but, yeah, that was an especially uh, clean win. Uh, but it gives you an idea of what the game's like. It uh, didn't give you an idea of what drones are like. Um... But that could be a fun thing for you to discover yourself.